Many times people question, if I become a yogi, if I engage in devotion, then my competence will reduce. I will no longer remain competitive in the world. This is a question asked. And Sri Krishna says, no, you will become even more skillful. Story that I like to say of Tan Sen. He was such an exponent of classical music that by singing he would cause the rain to fall and the lamps to be lighted. He was one of the nine jewels of the Mohammedan king Akbar in Delhi. Once Akbar asked Tan Sen, you sing so well. Who is your guru from whom you have learned it all? Tan Sen said, my guru is Swami Haridas. There was a great devotee in Vrindavan called Swami Haridas. He is considered the dissension of Lalita Sakhi. He is my guru. So Akbar said, call him to my court. Tan Sen said, he is a renunciant. He cares not for a king or a beggar. If you wish to meet him, you need to go to Vrindavan. Akbar changed his dress and incognito he accompanied Tan Sen to Vrindavan. They both went to Guruji's hermitage. Now how to request Guruji to sing something? Tan Sen took the Tanpura musical instrument and started playing on it, deliberately making mistakes. Finally, Swami Haridas with the intention of teaching him said, my child not like this, let me show you how. And when he sang, Akbar's ears opened up. Ooh, this seems to be coming from the heaven, celestial music. When they returned, Akbar asked Tan Sen, Your Guruji really sings so well. Tan Sen, why can you not sing like him? First he had asked, you sing so well, who's your Guru? Now he says, why can't you sing like your Guru? Tan Sen gave a very penetrative answer. He said, oh King, the answer should have been obvious to you. I sing for the pleasure of the king of Hindustan, that is yourself. My guru sings for the pleasure of the king of the world. The motivation that he has, I can never replicate it. I am singing for your pleasure. He is singing for the pleasure of God. Naturally, his inspiration is more and that is reflected by greater excellence in his work. So Sri Krishna says, Yoga Karma Su Kaushalam Skillful work in the right consciousness is the state of yoga. Any activity that you are good in, offer it to God and you will become even better in it because you'll do your work in the proper consciousness i'm doing this as a service to god take a look at the most wonderful architectures in the east and the west in india and in italy you'll find the best architectures were all made by devotees in glorification of god Take a look at the most wonderful literatures. The Ramayana, the Mahabharat, they were all written in the service of God. To think that if I devote myself, my competence will reduce is an incorrect understanding. It will only improve. You will do things in the spirit of devotion much better than before.